it's your girl Leticia Yofo from Vixen Tail After Dark. Yes, that is my real name. I do have a nickname, but we're not gonna get into that. <laughs> what I want to do is like kind of a welcome video, a purposeful video to let you kind of know why I even started the Vixen Tarot After Dark channel, the website, and things of that nature. So all right, so I also have um, a set of questions here that you guys asked me um, on my Instagram when I did the questionnaire. So I went ahead and made sure I jotted those down so I don't forget to answer them. Okay, so let's get started. So, oh, where am I located? So I was born in New York, um, the Bronx, New York, and I was raised pretty much in Cali. So I left New York, what, when I was like eight or nine? But um, yeah, so I'm pretty much raised in Cali. I used to live in the East Bay, which is Northern California, but now I live in sicky, 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 sunny SoCal, you know the deal. So, um, so yeah, so that's where I'm at now. Uh, okay, the reason why I created this channel is because I really wanted more of my soul tribe to really be aware of spirit and the universe and numerology and astrology and to let them know that it's not some scary kind of thing when you see tarot cards you know what i mean because i know me well, back in the day like my culture we were raised you know if you see a lady with a red dot on her forehead run you know what i mean or any like you go to any fair station and you see ladies that are doing tarot it's like run for the hills right so um what i really wanted to inform you guys is that I've always had a gift. Many of those people that do tarot readings have gifts already from when they're younger. They just don't know how to go about utilizing their gift or to know what it is. And I always knew when I was younger there was something extra about me. There was something a little like not normal. Um, I literally would see dead people. Even as I got older, you know, in my teens, when I was in high school, I can literally see like my friend's mom like tap her on the shoulder saying everything's gonna be okay. I've looked at people and just seen full on blown skeleton bodies like they were the devil. I mean, you name it, I've pretty much seen it all. Um, and that was when I was vibrating super high. Um, you know, I see orbs all the time. I see auras like around you, I can tell what color you are. Um, so there's a few things. So I wrote it down here. So people are wondering like, what are the clairs? So clairs meaning like those are your psychic abilities. So for me, I have four of them. So I'm clairvoyant, which means I have clear seeing, like I can pretty much see certain things in 3D as I stated to you earlier, um, and I can visualize them. Also claircognizance. You kind of just know something without knowing why you know it. You just know it. <laughs> um, and that's really strong intuition as well. Some of us have not learned how to tap into listening to our own voice. So I kind of want to make that a huge thing because if you guys studied the brain like I did, I have a degree in psychology because I really love studying the mind. And so the mind is so powerful. When you get thoughts, the thoughts sometimes really aren't all your thoughts. Um, even when you have feelings, like if you all of a sudden you feel really horny out of nowhere, it's like that means somebody's wanting you really bad and you're feeling their energy. So things like that, I know <laughs> that's like a random example, but um, I, that's kind that's for real, okay? Um, clairsentience, that means like I can feel something, like I'm an empath, like you just have this um, psychometry about it like you just you just know you know when you know you know you can you can read into people per se you're not always accurate you know what I mean but you you catch these vibes and you, your little spidey senses will go off and you just you just know in your gut it's really hard to explain unless you're a person that excuse me if you're a person that's going through it also clear audience um, I hear voices or I hear songs. Um, that's the audio part. There's also two more that I, I'm not certain for sure. If I have experienced it, I possibly could have, but it's not something that's all the time, everyday constant like the other four Claire's. Um, there's Claire Gustins, which is taste, and Claire Aliens, which is smell, okay? So some people can just like get a whiff of you know, spirit walking by and you can just get a taste, smell of their perfume or you get like a certain taste in your mouth that like just randomly, we didn't even eat anything. Like you just get this, 
yeah <laughs> so it gets really deep and then we get into the universal laws and all that stuff so i wanted to answer somebody's questions about that because somebody asked me about the clairs so it's really good to know about that information also um also the other thing of why i even brought it to the light this time do you guys know how many times i tried to start this channel i really tried to start this channel probably about a good 11 times and finally i'm like you know what i'm just gonna do it at first i started on my other channel i was doing like just daily energy readings just for the collective um but i felt like i wanted to just i feel like i had to graduate to that first um i really just want to hone in on the signs because that's what people know um like that's all they really kind of know about is they start out with astrology which is what's your sign you know um so I figured that's the most common to start there just to kind of get people awake and aware of like how their energy is via their sign because that's the most common but my main point of making the channel is to go beyond that like if you want to know about relationships career love um healing for yourself this is like a spiritual healing channel um I just want to get people to tap in more into their spirit listen to their spirit guides um just to really bring awareness to that because like as of these times right now during this revolution i feel as if we're going through 2020 you know we're having a spiritual warfare so if you're not really educated about it or care to learn you're not open to knowing about it you're gonna just block it off and be like what spiritual warfare what you talking about willis so <laughs> um i really want people to like just kind of level up and I do energy readings, I like to call them energy readings. And for me, I can channel a lot of information. Channeling for me means like, as soon as I focus on someone and their situation or focus on like a, a sign, like then I'll just start getting all these messages. And so I use tools. And the tools that I like to use that resonate with me are tarot cards, oracle cards. So that's why I use those. Um, I also have little crystals, and of course, you guys always see I have my energy beads on at all times. So, I always have to protect my energy, and that's another thing I want people to be aware of, is like protecting their energy. A lot of, everything is energy, right? So, there's energy vampire suckers out there, there's people that will just literally just, they're leeches, like they see you happy, successful, and they just want to just, just suck that right out of you, right? So, uh, by doing energy work, which is focusing on through the readings that I'm giving you guys, they're gonna be random, they're gonna be, you know, different, more esoteric. Um, it's just, just bringing that awareness and everything at the end of the day is all astrology. It really is. But I'm not the person that's all into the planets and no, I don't, <laughs> I don't get into that. I don't know how to read your birth chart. Like there's specialists, people that actually do that. I like to just channel energies. That way you guys can learn how to leverage the energy readings. Like for example, I just like to tell people things like what's coming up. Um, like the other day I had a vision about my friend. I said, hey, you know, there's gonna be some faulty people around you. Be careful of like signing deals. Be careful of who you tell your business to. Um, there's someone that's kind of out to get you. Um, I, I feel like law, something with court, boom. He got pulled a restraint someone um, served him some papers and then he ended up going to court he got a lawyer all that stuff they're suing him so things like that um, if I'm really in tune with you and you know even if I don't know you I've done readings for strangers all the time but if I tap into your energy um, then I can kind of give you those pointers and you can kind of take what resonates and then take advantage so the energy readings could be you know for your Sun moon rising in Venus um if you look at your birth chart so I, I recommend going to cafe astrology type that into google and you guys can get your birth chart it's just gonna ask you to put your like first and last name your birth date and where you're born and what time if you know that and it really tells really tells you everything about yourself so i recommend checking that out that would be the first place to start um i know i'm kind of going all over the place and i'm trying to make sure i get everything out making sure so for me, these energy readings are, you just leverage off of them, kind of leverage off knowing what's gonna happen or how you're feeling right now to turn it around to something that you, you know, if you can to, because I feel like you create your own life. So you're trying to see like how you can flip around whatever it is that you're going through, if that makes sense. Um, 
just kind of getting right with spirit. So that's pretty much um, it as far as that. 2017, I was really, eh. I had another spiritual awakening. It was super deep. Like this one was like, and that's when I started using tools because I'm like, okay, my mind's all over the place. I have so many thoughts. So these tools, which are the tarot cards, I use um, also, uh, God, I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> um, a pendulum. Um, there's so many different tools that you guys can have. People use numerology. Like I said, I have crystals um, to help me like hone in that energy and stay calm and zen. I also meditate, of course. Um, I do yin yoga. I just started that. That's so dope. I love that. But 2017 is one of the spiritual awakening, and that's when I started using tools. I really was like just dabbling here and there, so that's when I actually started getting really good. I started doing readings for free for friends and family, um, strangers, uh, people that I was in business with, worked with, you know, do readings over the phone, in person. Um, so that's where I got my practice. I didn't charge anybody back then. Um, and I was just doing it like a lot and doing readings on myself and making sure I cleared my energy before, you know, getting to the cards and reading for people, making sure the reading's out for me. <laughs> um, just doing quick draws, always playing with the cards because when you play with the cards, you kind of give them an energy. Everything has energy, just like um, when you get a book. Books have like energy, it's better. I like to just buy the book itself because it carries energy versus you reading a book on your phone. So yeah, so that's a side note. Um, <laughs> anyways, I think I covered a lot, but um, if you catch my website, VincentTarotAfterDark.com, there's gonna be specialized readings that you can choose from. Over time, I'm gonna add more readings. Um, people can custom request certain readings that they want, but those are the set readings that I have for now. And then I also do free readings on my YouTube channel, Vixen Tarot After Dark. And then I alert those on IG. Um, start to follow my IG account because I'm gonna start doing live videos. I might do live energy updates like once a week um, or once a day, possibly go live every day. So um, that's in the works. Also, uh, this is really like a huge umbrella for me to just let the world know like, hey, we need to like be alert, we need to be woke, we need to get right with spirit. We need to really learn about energy. Like it's not something frightening. It's not something to be scared of. It's something that you can really leverage and you're gonna really start paying attention. Like when you see numbers like 999, 666, like what's the spiritual meaning of that? Why are you seeing that so much? And uh, there's a lot of people out there, you know, um, that are paying attention, but they just don't really know or some just don't really wanna tap into it. So. This is for the people that actually have an open mind. You have to be really open-minded about it and watch everything is gonna make sense. I kid you not. So um, I just wanted to give you guys that back-end story. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I'm gonna post this on YouTube, yeah, and on my website. So on my website, you guys can tip me, you can sign up for readings, but here on uh, YouTube, go ahead and Write some comments, give me some questions. What else do you wanna know? Um, and oh yeah, duh, <laughs> I'm a Pisces and my moon is Aries. And then I have strong, um, my, my whole chart is like really strong with Scorpio um, in there. So uh, what else? Yeah, there are no coincidences in life. And there's a lot of synchronicities all around you, which is spirit just kind of alerting you like, come to me like wake up you know and a lot of people um some people pay attention some people don't so that's what i kind of want to bring i want to help people bring that healing and awareness because when you get right within then what comes out of you your actions are going to be more sane they're going to be more knowledgeable um knowledge is power i always say like the strongest person on the planet is the person with the most knowledge and i believe that's really true the more you know the more that you can leverage off living a better lifestyle and creating and manifesting the lifestyle that you want. Um, we're not always peachy keen. It's not always going to be, you know, strawberries and peaches. People cry. People get mad. You know, we can't always be positive, but it's good to know how to direct your energy to if you are in that not so great of a mind state, learn how to flip it, okay, to what you want. So, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Look at that, 14.55 is the time. <laughs> and um, I appreciate it. So please enjoy all the free readings on uh, YouTube. And don't forget to hit up my website. And oh, also follow my personal Instagram at lucrative lives. 
Okay, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.